Pond. On the ground from Galvanize, San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now, here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at Galvanize in downtown San Francisco at the Girls in Tech Amplify event, which is, is uh, women's pitch night. So I think they have 10 entrepreneurs here pitching their company, pitching their ideas. Somebody's going to walk away with 10,000 bucks, some computers and other fun stuff. So we're happy to be here, share the stories with you, because this is where innovation happens. And our next guest is Ellen Elkenhard. Did I get that right? From Stilla? Good welcome. Enough. Thank you. First off, how'd your pitch go? Um, pretty good, I think. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, so your product is called Still Emotion. So what is Still Emotion? Still Emotion is a pocket-sized security system. It's, um, I have a little sample here, but okay. so this is what they look like. So it's a small little device that you put on anything that you want to be still, like a, a bag or a computer or a stroller or on a window. And, and if something moves that shouldn't, you get an instant notification to your phone or to your smartwatch. Okay, so it's got accelerometers and those types of things in there that, that yeah. is really all about motion. Yeah. Little app onto your phone or whatever. Exactly. Okay, so so there's a lot of action right now with Tile and those types of things. How yeah. is it different, kind of what's the different value proposition? Well, it's, it's as I said, it's kind of the, the opposite. Instead of like finding your things, it's not losing them in the first place. Um, so it's, it's a, pretend, a preventative device rather than uh, it's re, uh, proactive instead of reactive. Okay. Uh, but it does have similar functionality as well. So if you uh, forget your bag at the cafe, um, you will you will get a notification when the distance is uh, when you lose contact. But um, yeah, if you're sitting here with me and your bag walks away, the tiles and trackers won't help. Versus the Stilla will right. tell you directly like, right. hey, someone is touching your your bag. Right. So how did you come up with the idea? Um, I was actually learning how to program Arduino boards. Um, I, uh, I was running an, uh, or working at a hardware accelerator and my background is more business oriented, but I'm, uh, I'm a geek at heart. So I had like this little Arduino board um, that, I, uh, that I learned how to code with. So I, uh, I just, I literally, now I have so you got all, you got all I'm the literally, I'm so, I'm so geeky, I have Arduino boards in my purse, but yes I do. So I, this is a little computer kind of. So we were sitting like learning this at the cafe and I dropped it on my bike. And when I lifted it up, it started blinking. And I was like, you know what? That would be great if it did something else to blink. Um, and that's why I came up with the idea. And how so, long ago is that? So give a little about kind of history of the company. How many people are you? Kind of where are you on, yeah. on the development phase still? Prototype yeah, exactly. or? Well, I also had the idea because I've, I've done a hardware startup before, but it took like four years and um, I'm kind of, I wasn't willing to give it four years, so I was like, is it possible to, I like the idea, but I, I didn't know if I wanted to commit so much time and effort and money, so I was like, can I make it in 100 days? Is it possible to start a Harvard company in 100 days? Um, so I kind of challenged myself to do it. Um, and did so you have a regular job while you're doing this? So not yeah, only 100 yeah, days, but you also have a real job. Yeah, I, I worked as a strategy consultant because I had to fund myself. So I had no, mon no money, no funding, no team, no nothing. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to make this little button. So I did this and then I literally make prototypes in clay and paint. And, and like I talked to people, I, I got a team together and I did patent applications and got an app together and did, yeah. So I went from this to a functioning hardware product in 100 days and then I was like, I actually want to do this, so I kind of quit my job and, and made sure that I went all in and got a team together and some basic investors to help me out and then, um, yeah, we got going and it took 100 days to make the first product and then it had taken almost a year to build a company. Right, right. This is just the start, like this is the first product and then we'll have a whole line of things that we're doing. So where are you now, what are you going to do with the money, kind of, is it for scaling, is it for more licensing, what, what are you going to use yeah, the money we, for? Yeah, we, uh, we just closed our campaign okay. um, uh, on Friday last week, um, and we're now in the last batch of uh, prototyping. So I'm going uh, down to our hardware engineers in, in Orange County uh, next week to um, finalize uh, the production before we kind of go into tooling, and then after that we're doing final stages of the app and then we're going to Zenjin in China where we produce and, and uh, start the tooling and manufacturing process. So we're shipping in uh, uh, March next year. March next year, yeah. awesome. So yeah. great story and, and you said you've got team members from all over the world, five of seven continents. Yeah. You're leveraging a lot of other technology like accelerometers to pull this thing together yeah. in such a short period of time. Yeah. 
Well, very exciting. Well, good luck to you, and I hope uh, you get some of that money tonight. Well, thank you. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right. Well, keep an eye. And where should people go to get more information? Can um, they learn about the company yet? Mystilla.com. Mystilla.com is spelled S-T-I-L-L-A. All right. Yeah, M-Y-S-T-I-L-L-A. With my in the front. Awesome. Exactly. All right, Ellen. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I'm Jeff Frick. We are at the uh, Girls in Tech Amplify Pitch Night here at Galvanize in San Francisco. We'll be right back after this short break.